So is object Pascal a legacy language? Um, if you look online today, you might think that is the case where everyone who is not a Pascal programmer says, oh, I don't like the begin and the end. Oh, I didn't know you still use that. Well, today we're going to be looking at a brand new uh, resource for those who program in modern Pascal. And uh, this one is called Object Pascal My Way. It is by Ricardo Sonato. Full disclosure, uh, Ricardo sent me a copy of this particular um, book and the reason why I got excited is that it is a very modern text on um, modern or on object Pascal. It came out in 2025 and that's only last year. From the big picture, I'm going to say it is a little bit of a diamond in the rough. Uh, and that's because of some typos or bugs in the text so and one of the things that I don't want you to get stuck you know with these particular things and you can see what we're going what we're going to do about that a bit later in the video the other thing I will point out is that because it is using free Pascal um, and it will mention Lazarus in here that it will also work on Linux, sorry, work on Linux, Windows, and Mac. So don't be worried if you're using a different operating system to what the um, author prefers, which happens to be Linux. The other thing I will also point out is that it is focused on the language, um, so in, you will not get, um, an, you know examples or descriptions on how to write a GUI sort of program so just be aware of that. The stuff that it will talk about is uh, talks about the foundations of the language and that will include um, variable types, records, arrays, um, functions, conditions, uh, classes, exceptions how to write a library and then, then it goes into some cool classes and a concrete example the writing style I will say is a uh, little bit more informal than I'm used to this is not a bad thing you know it's like the author is talking to you rather than lecturing also I'll say that a lot of the more modern Pascal texts are uh, Delphi related so it's always good to have something which is a little bit different and as I said it will also work on Windows and Mac. It is only 240 pages so you're not going to get an intimidating Bible and it is ideal for those who want to learn Object Pascal and be able to write readable code. So what I thought we could do here is to look at a couple of the example programs um, in our environment, in Lazarus. We'll start with the, what we have in the book here and then we will look, go to the um, into my IDE here. So the first program that you will find I think in the text is on page 30 and it is a hello world program and I'll see if I can show you on the screen here what that will look like so there it is and of course there you also get the example output so you know what to expect when you compile and run the program now the however part of this particular um, program here is then this is a typical program or the first program you would typically write in a new language is that there is a quote that is in the wrong spot now if we go into my code here you can see here and ignore the part down the bottom here at the moment but the I've got the this code here reads exactly like the book here and if we go to build the program it reports there's an error there um, you will see that there is a um, exclamation mark in a red red circle and then you're told there is a syntax error uh, it expected a around bracket but the identifier world was found and that's because this single quote here should be 
here and now when we go to build the program hang on let's get rid of that one for the moment Um, it builds and you can see here the uh, green text which indicates go if, for lack of a better word and if we go further along in the book here another one of these um, sort of typos is that you will see this being used in a program and uh, um, you do not declare an array that way. By the way, an array is where you want to store a uh, a list or or a set of values, you know, within a variable here. So, if we wanted to store ten integers, then we could have an array. We need to tell it the size of the array and give it also the type being stored at each position. Or it's the sequence actually I should say so they're the sorts of uh, they're the few or they are two examples of the uh, issues you'll find in the code examples there aren't that many but if you are learning how to program these could be problematic for you now if you now the other thing also is that with some of the um, some of the uh, descriptions of the program because you'll also for most of the programs you'll also get a description of what it's doing uh, with the naming of variables in that description it may go uh, into Italian and that's also that's just because of that's the native language of the author um, so if you see something like numero or ultra numero then and you see number and other number in the program um, I would my tip would be just to check whether the uh, name used in the description is the Italian version of the English word so the oddest part I will say is that when I looked my very first thing that I went to was the front of the book to see what was in the contents alas there was no contents because when I started flicking through the book then I found it to be at the very end of the book after the index so that's a little quirk but once you know it it's fine and now because I would like to see this particular language thrive and I would like um, the author to do well from this particular text what we've done or what I've done and we'll switch windows now we're going to go to my we're going to go to YouTube here so because I want to see this particular language do well and I'd also like Ricardo to do well out of this particular book I'm, I don't want to leave you with a list of um, or what appears to be a list of complaints because I truly believe this is a good text is that I started an errata list and that's in the um, it's a post which you'll all be able to see um, but you have to become a member of the channel to get to that and so if you would like to um, support this channel you know hit that join button um, because what I'm building what we're building then is a corrected companion that can go with this book and help all those in the community I and mean, this could become a community effort then what is the final verdict here well the text is good um, it has um, let's say a few typos the Italian aspect and the position of the contents I probably would give it let's we'll give it about a three and a half out of five um, it's a if, because if you can handle these couple of typos and that contents page becoming a game of hide and seek it's actually a very good buy so uh, I'll be putting a full summary of this text onto my uh, website later um, and I'd like to know are you using Pascal in 2026 thanks for watching I'll see you on the other side in the next video and bye for now